Hello everybody, I'm Davy. Today I'm sharing with you six ways that I have learned to prioritize and be productive as a homemaker and mom of a toddler and a newborn. All right, so the first thing on my list of six is honestly to make a list. I am an avid believer in having a list and trying to stick to what you have on there to get things done. So right away in the morning, I will make my list or even the night before of what I want to get done during my day. No, I don't always get everything done, especially now with the newborn. Um, feeding times are things I have to work around and also things, other things pop up. With it being summer, life is a little more flexible, so um, I still try to follow my list and get things done on that list. The second thing that I have for you is to do the hardest thing first or the task that you really just want to avoid. So let's say for me, I know I need to scrub down the inside of the fridge. I'm not a huge fan of doing that, but I know it needs to get done. So I'm gonna do that right away in the morning and get that done so that by afternoon time, I have more time to spend with my kids, more time to do things outside, like in my gardens and get other tasks done like weeding the garden, which I honestly enjoy. All right, tip number three is to use time management. What I mean by that is for me, what can I get done when my kids are awake and what can I get done when my kids are napping? What's most important to do when my toddler is taking a nap and my newborn is taking a nap? So for example, for me, that would be editing a video for you guys while they are napping. If I had dishes, in the sink after lunch, I will probably just leave them or load the dishwasher to get it done more quickly and be more efficient with my time. In the morning, things I like to do are like vacuum and dust and fold laundry because those are things that my toddler likes to help with or be around with when I am doing that. So think of what you can use for time management if you don't have kids. What can you do in the morning when you feel like you maybe have the most energy or what can you do in the afternoon when you know sometimes you hit the afternoon slump? All right, number four is to limit time on social media. I don't honestly struggle with this that much, but it can be something I do. For example, for me, it's probably Facebook Marketplace that I will scroll through to find things I've been looking for but I try to do that maybe 10, 20 minutes a day instead of an hour or two because it's so easy to sit down and just scroll, scroll, scroll through your phone on your laptop and look for things you might want, look through everybody else's feed. But social media is something I truly try to avoid except for maybe posting a few times on Instagram, getting a little um, news feed off of that, and then checking a few YouTube channels that I like to follow. But if you limit that time, you can get a lot more done and be more productive in your day. I have definitely learned that by um, not being on my phone or on my uh, apps near as much. All right, tip number five is get up in the morning, honestly. I have transitioned, I have a three week old to trying to get up a little bit before my newborn gets up. That way I can get a few things done before I have to feed her. And so things like unloading the dishwasher or um, putting the dishes away that you had hand washed, watering my flowers outside in the morning before it gets too hot. I get some of those tasks done before my newborn gets up to feed, like I said, and before my toddler is awake. So for me, that would be 5.30, 5.45 in the morning. Maybe for you, that's eight o'clock. If you go to bed at midnight, I also do try to go to bed at a decent time. Uh, that way I have time to get good rest as well, but also that way in the morning, I feel like I can get up and get a few things done. So. It is hard if you've never done this and it's just a time for me and myself and to um, prioritize and be productive with a few tasks as well as reading my Bible and making my list to get those things done right away in the morning. All right, and tip number six is to finish one task at a time. So multitasking sounds like such a good idea. Let's 
uh, do this while we also do that. But it can really be unfruitful to be having our minds going in so many different ways. So finish one task you want to do first. If it's paying your bills and looking through your mail, get all that done first before you move on to baking those cookies that you need to take to an event. So those are my six tips I have for you. I really try to abide by what I have here. I am not perfect and I do miss some of those things I do. One day I might be scrolling through social media longer than I expected to, or I decide just to sit down during my kids' nap time and watch a movie, especially after a newborn, I get a little more tired. So I just hope that you can use these and find it beneficial for you to um, be productive and prioritize during your day. All right, love you guys, and I'll talk with you in the next one. Bye.